Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Joining me today is, once again, fellow blogger and YouTube pooper, Daniel Guzman. Yeah, thanks for joining me today. Now, as I said before, during my Pixels blog, Hollywood has a hard time making a good video game related movie. But there are some good video game based movies such as Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, as well as Tron from 1982, and just recently Ready Player One. But for today's blog, Daniel and I will be blogging a video game movie made by Walt Disney Animation Studios which brought Disney another step towards success in their current revival era. So, ready to play? Ready when you are. Alright, so, released on November 2nd, 2012, the movie is Wreck-It Ralph. Now let's get started. Wreck-It Ralph, the villain of the arcade game Fix-It Felix Jr., is tired of always being the bad guy and losing to his good guy opponent. Finally, after decades of seeing all the glory go to Felix, Ralph decides to take matters into his own hands. He sets off on a video hopping trip to prove that he has what it takes to be a hero. However, while on his quest, Ralph accidentally unleashes a deadly enemy that threatens the entire arcade. So, what do we think of this movie? Well, after seeing this movie in 3D with Daniel, I thought it was absolutely amazing. And, I think it is one of the best animated movies of 2012. Agreed. I sure that it didn't win an Oscar, but thankfully it won an Annie Award. But, to further explain why we love this movie, let's move on to Mustang Notes. <clears throat> The movie was directed by Rich Moore, who also directed episodes of The Simpsons and Futurama, and the screenplay was written by Phil Johnston and new head of Walt Disney Animation Studios, Jennifer Lee. From a story written by Moore, Johnston, and Jim Reardon, the recently retired John Lasseter served as executive producer. The film started off as a concept that was first developed at Disney in the late 1980s, under the working title High Score. Since then, it was redeveloped and reconsidered several times in the late 1990s. It took on the working title Joe Jump, then in the mid-2000s as Reboot Ralph. Now, since this is a video game movie, Wreck-It Ralph contains a number of other video game references including character and visual gags. The video game villains at the support meeting, in addition to those mentioned above, include Bowser from the Mario franchise, Dr. Robotnik from Sonic, and Ned from the Altered Beast games. Additionally, the game cabinet of Fixit Felix Jr. is stylized to strongly resemble the cabinet of the original Donkey Kong arcade game, with Ralph and Felix taking similar poses as Donkey Kong and Mario, respectively. The Hero's Duty game is a reference to the successful first-person shooter games known as Halo and Call of Duty. Characters like Cubert, Coily, Slick, Sam, and Ugg are shown as homeless characters and later taken in by Ralph and Felix into their game. Scenes in Game Central Station and Tapper's Bar include Chun Li, Cammy, and Blanca from Street Fighter, Pac Man, Blinky, Tanky, and Inky from Pac Man, the Paperboy from Paperboy, the two Pong Pals and the Ball from Pong, Dig Dug, a Puka, and a Figar from Dig Dug. The Kicks from Kicks, Frogger from Frogger, and Peter Pepper from Burger Time. It's also worth noting that Lara Croft from Tomb Raider and Mario are also mentioned, but not featured. So, as for the animation, 
Well, in our opinion, the animation is absolutely surprising. Not only is most of the movie CGI, but there are some scenes that show parts that are in 8-bit. And since we talked about Heroes Duty and Fix-It Felix Jr. earlier, let's talk a little bit about Sugar Rush. This game is a kart racing style arcade game based on sweets and desserts. Visually, it takes its design and inspiration from the game series Mario Kart, the girls' toy line Sh Strawberry Shortcake, and the Milton Bradley board game Candyland. The game is also home to a mini game in the bakery where players make their own racing kart. And of course, Diet Cola Mountain where Vanellope lives, is home to an unfinished bonus level. Plus, one of the racing avatars, Minty Zaki, is a reference to John Lasseter's friend, Hayao Miyazaki. Lastly, in our opinion, the Sugar Rush theme song, performed by J-pop band, AKB48, is a pretty catchy tune, even if we don't understand the Japanese lyrics. The film also features an original song created by Owl City, known under the title, When Can I See You Again? So, now that we're done with Mustang Notes, let's move on to the characters and the voice actors who brought him to life. For the voice of Wreck-It Ralph, Disney hired John C. Riley who got to be in Kong Skull Island, Cirque du Freak, and Sing. To many of us, Ralph's design is based on that of Donkey Kong and possibly the heavy weapons guy from Team Fortress 2. Despite his penchant for demolishing buildings and other structures, Ralph is a very likable character similar to Shrek. For they both may not appear nice, but they have a big heart. Vanellope Von Schweetz, the princess of Sugar Rush, is voiced by comedian Sarah Silverman, who, like Roseanne Barr and Ellen DeGeneres, is best known for some risque and raunchy humor you may never hear in a Disney film. Now, since I've included her on my top 11 other Disney princesses list, I won't go into too much detail, but all I can say is, she may start off annoying and hyper, but as the film progresses, she grows on me. Plus, she's really adorable, and her glitching techniques make her very special. Fixit Felix Jr. is voiced by Jack McBrayer, best known for his role in 30 Rock, Snurfs the Lost Village, and Craig McCracken's Wander Over Yonder. Felix's character design is based on that of Mario when he first appeared in Donkey Kong, as well as in the 1985 game Wrecking Crew, and also Handy Manny and Bob the Builder. Felix is a sweet-natured guy, evidenced during most of his scenes, but his attempts in flirting have been unsuccessful with Calhoun, whom he has a crush on. Felix uses his magic golden hammer to repair damage on anything that's been broken or destroyed. But it's also known to heal his injuries while he and Calhoun were stuck in Nesquik sand. Next we have Sergeant Tamora Jean Calhoun, the lead character of Heroes Duty, voiced by Jane Lynch. Now, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Lynch's acting, but, but as for what I think of her character, Calhoun is an intense character due to her fiancé getting eaten by a cybug. Also, she means serious business. And, of course, her gadgets and weapons are very lethal. Next, we have King Candy, the ruler of Sugar Rush, Voiced by Disney's good luck charm, Alan Tudyk. This character is based on the Mad Hatter from Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland, 
as well as comedian Ed Wynn. King Candy is revealed to be an infamous racer named Turbo. From another kart racing video game called Turbo Time. Turbo was known for having crashed a game called Road Blasters out of jealousy. Also to me, King Candy is a tad eccentric and flamboyant, and what he did to Sugar Rush by making Vanellope into a glitch and locking up everyone's memories was rather devilish. There's also the part where he fights Ralph in the form of a cyborg, which was a pretty epic boss battle. Other members of the cast include Mindy Kaling as Taffeta Mutton Fudge, Adam Carolla and Horatio Sanz as Winchill and Duncan, the cops of Sugar Rush, and director Rich Moore as King Candy's henchman, Sour Bill. And now, let's move on to our final words. Overall, Wreck-It Ralph has got to be one of the best animated Disney films of the 2010s. The animation is outstanding, the story is engaging, and all the characters are all memorable and relatable. The video game environments are well constructed and designed, the music heard throughout is awesome, and the many video game character cameos are fun to spot around Game Central Station as well as in Tapper. And if you love video games and animated movies, this is a treat for you. So together, we give this movie a full 100%. So, I guess you may be asking, will we be able to blog Ralph's upcoming sequel? Well, that depends. Mm-hmm. So anyway, be sure to join me again next time, because I'll be going on another vacation. Mustang Power.